Are we unpaused? Not yet. Sorry, I was being informed of something. Marcus, I must also roll for you. Rolling. Yeah. Marcus with an eight, <laughs> your mind is assaulted with fear and a sickness and a hunger. And you lose the ability to do anything but move and talk. You cannot raise your weapons. You feel molasses slow. You're sick and you're hungry. Unpause. Kyla's uh, giving her the antidote. <laughs> it's a strong antidote. What level? One, two, or three? <laughs> Oh, I was told I was strong by Mary. So likely two. Nobody has any threes. Okay. Okay. I thought that. Okay. Unpause! Something's you, affecting you us when we get close. The potion. She doesn't really get help you pour, pour it down. Get close! But as you do, the color returns to her flesh, her eyes, and she pukes a lot of black ichor. There you go. But she will be cleansed. You, me, you, you, you are still, you are still He's racking those feelings. Yeah, the they need to be. <laughs> How do we learn about shiny, strange things? Yeah, I know. Tang's down there trying to seal it. He's not affected by it, it seems. You're good. Right. Oh, good. You well, okay? Let take care of it. You got us this far. Mm. Rest. <sighs> Fuck. Fuck, Sarah. Uh, fuck. I don't like throwing up. <sighs> Come on, Tang. I don't like you turning don't into one of those fucking nothing. things. Uh, You're right. Just spit it up. Thank you. The you. drow who have dark vision, who can see Tang, unlike everyone else, you will see his lights flickering. You'll see the crystal <laughs> upon him cracking like an immense pressure is upon his body. You've seen Tang survive everything. Right now, it looks like he is rapidly deteriorating. Fuck, there's nothing we can do. Tang's in a bad way. We're gonna lose Tang. We can't fucking do anything. I don't know, he's just... I don't, I... We can't... I can't get close enough. He's just he's freaking out. out. His crystal's breaking, he's deteriorating. <laughs> We can't get there. Sarah, just come on, Tang. Come on, come on, buddy. Oh fuck! They're being overwhelmed. Support them if you can, Torty. Look, he got it. He got it. Oh, he got it. Pause. 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 DMing for all players. At this time, the heavy assaulting force and pressure from the far end of the room ceases. In an instant, the energy and the light is snuffed. All sense of heavy weight vanishes from the air, and those of you who were close to the glowing energy Feel the weight lift from you, and you take a heavy and sudden breath. As though air has finally returned to a vacuumed world. Unpause. I think we... He fucking did it. I think so. Tang, buddy. We're waiting on Tang. He's, uh... Buddy? I'm only saying good because I don't know how many of you are still here. They're moving forward, come on. You good? Okay. Alright. Let's get out of here. Okay. We're leaving. Cool. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We are He's, leaving this fucking place! The crystals upon his body, on his arm, on his visor, on his chest are all cracked and damaged. 
They looked like they were forced inward, like glass. I don't fucking know. I saw Not whatever that. I see whenever I'm damaged. Not now. Whenever I dream. I can tell you later. Just get to the hot. We've got it. We've got it. We've got, it. We got to go. Yes. Your memories are very, very vivid Listen. in your mind, Stan. Uh, and you feel emotional. In. We can't find another way out. We have to get out the way we came in. We push to the portacullis. Okay? Right. Fuck. Stop for nothing. That has to make it out of the city. We'll stay on, Tang. We're moving. Let's go, buddy. We're on you. Come on. Tori's up ahead. Tori's up there. We stay with Tang. There's no one left behind. <laughs> Looks like everyone's here. We gotta go. You're right, buddy. You're right. I don't care what anyone says, Tang. <laughs> Let's just go. Let's go. Be careful. We'll be able to come from behind as well. That's you, Morden. Close the gates as we go through them. Tang. A flash. The memories are so prevalent in your mind exactly. that one of them flashes forward, and the suddenness of it brings you to a knee. There's a sensation oh, on, that wakes you. Come on, come on. You feel pain. 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 Dang, come on, buddy. Ah, okay. Ah, ow. Ow. Dang, come on. What do you mean, ow? Fuck. Get moving, Tang! Back, Morden. Shut the gate. We're right with you, buddy. Just keep moving. Keep moving! Moving as fast as I can. The problem. I know. <laughs> the familiar architecture of the aqueduct returns. Tank can only move so fast. Understood. Move up. Just don't Tang. stop. They keep staggering. To the right, to the right. Right, stop stopping, go. down, attacking you from behind, the very way that you came in. <sighs> Just keep fucking moving. The rear guard. Fuck. Behind him. Keep moving. Don't stop, buddy. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, let's get the fuck. Now just go up. Up, Fine. up, right up. Reach right. further up, aim up to the trap door. Yes. Don't worry about us, keep moving. Reach for the door, reach for the door, reach for the door. Door is broken. Let's take There you go. Right here. Keep going, keep going. Watch over trap still. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's basically hooked the box under his He's left arm to climb up the ladder. He's got his hand on the back. He is just... <laughs> Kyla! Yeah. 
Listen, I don't care sorry. what happens. Another memory you get into the gatehouse at the hub. You lose We're sense of figure out how to open the portcullis. Oh, I'm totally help you. She understands rope shit. And he right. his fucking chains. Got it. Leverage it up. Okay. We will buy you time. Okay. Forwards. Let's go. Right. Regard, stay with me. The rest of you push forward. <laughs> Alright, let's go. PUSH! Step by step, don't stop. Need the move. Go, go. Stay in the middle, stay in the middle, stay in the middle. Let's go. Head alone. Well, with a one. Keep moving. You receive a major injury. Walk and roll. On the right. Keep moving. Service. I'm going. As this one comes down on you, your dagger embeds itself in its hand. Its other hand comes. <clears throat> Signaling him he is going to walk and talk. Go. All right. Thank All right. you, Morgan. Bandage, Hold here until everyone gets past. We'll close it behind us. Rolling. The 17 plus 4. The wound Come on, get to the main gate house. Let's go. Ah, oh, fuck. Me and gate. You perform a quick battlefield surgery, Soma. My arms are occupied. Look at your wrist, because you're watch. Let's go. Main gate house. Main gate house. Main gate house. One tank. Where's fucking Torty? Hopper, get Torty with me. Move. We're so close. Go. It's fine. Go. Where's Torty? I. Uh, that's your job. Tank. You've got chain on you, right? Yeah. Should be in my back, or at least on it's on the gate. Let me. Yeah, it's on the gate already. It's... The broken chain's on the gate. No. We'll be able to jury rig something to pull it up as long as we're able to hook them around. Right. All right, move with me if you need to. <laughs> Go! Up with me, show me what you need to do. Alright. The three of you, hold the gate! Hold the fucking gate, you three. Tang, show me what we need to do. Move! On the left! 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 Torty! Okay! Alright. What do we need to do? Yeah. Help us. What do we need to do? Help with a block and tackle. Do it. Torty, help him. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the wheel. Perfect for a block and tackle. See your smoke. Yep. Loop it up and over. We're going to be cranking this yes. way to pull the chain. We just need to. I know, I know. Touch. Begin to work together, putting the instruments together, according with the team's guidance, slowly toiling away, getting this to work promptly. As you use your own experience of tying knots, of where to, and his point is where to tie knots. 
16 you will be able to put this together flawlessly you have a three minute timer it begins now keep working at it yeah 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 Or to team and the others. They're holding the gate. Focus on us. He's still holding the other gate. Yes, we got a couple minutes until that thing's operational. Yes. I had, yeah. I had no roles for that whole sure. fight Focus down there. So we can make I have to roll for you. Yeah. Me some. Yeah. Yours yeah. is better than mine and more lighter, at least this dark. I'm gonna shine my lantern here. Looking at the actual making sure there's no cracks. If all the weight goes onto this, it's going snap. You try to look out to hear what's happening beyond, and you hear the hordes clashing as fighting can be heard just past the tower. As you try to get up and see, there's just no visual from here. You just hear the fighting. <sighs> Fuck. As you slowly move closer and closer, you see their line has been, been pulling back step by step, still holding for now. It seems none of them to the ground, but time is of the essence. He's gonna... When they need to leave, they'll need to leave fast. Yes. How much time left on that three minutes? Just in his own mental clock. You wouldn't know. That's on them. Shit, you're right. They said it'll take time. Sarah, get into that gatehouse. Once it's done, and Tang and Torty say it's done, Wave to me. All right. Come on, you fuckers. Alright, Kyle is gonna whistle. Shinfo. Kyle is the wave in the distance. Kyler is whistling. Like Understood. in his mouth and he's uh, trying to get them to go. He's just pointing. Fucking of course they go behind something now. Open it! Tang, how do we keep it open and how do we close it? We should have had, We worked together and made sure that the winch system was attached to the gate itself. You should be able to use the same levers that you normally would at the other Open it! Alright, get out of there, Tang. how long it'll stay open, though. Fuck. Go down there and signal me when they're right up against it. Get out there as soon as it opens, Tang. You too, go down there. 
Let me know when it's open. Or when All they right. want to leave. I can go tell them. You're gonna see the front of her armor is completely, like, singed. Like she took a brunt face explosion. Okay. Fuck. Get down there. Go with them. Don't worry, don't worry. Uh, you don't handle the gate. Don't, don't worry. Yeah, just he's doing it. it. Yeah. Yep, it's, it's already done. As long as the door It's open. DM. Shinfo. DM. DM. Stand by one, Tyler. Don't touch it. It's DMs are handling it. Do not Don't touch anything. Yes. All right, Kyle is taking his rope, and he's going to attach it around here Present so that he can Tyler. use it as a way to get down. Understood. Rolling for your tie for it. Understood. The right dice has been rolled. All right. No way I'm fucking leaving you up here. Are they through? Yes. Are they through the gate? Can we close it? I think so. I don't know. Let me look. He's gonna kick it. Closing it, he kicks it. Understood. Aegon rolling. With the 19, you hold fast. I accidentally jumped. Orlena. You held against the tide. Right at the end. You hear the sound of it. All right, Sarah. Ball as you kick it, and it kind of still stays sturdy for now. There's a rope here. Rolling, Sarah, down. before he begins to go, as before he gets to go down, just barely with a seven, you notice the rope is tied awfully with a two from earlier. <laughs> you see that this knot is not well done, and you can correct it very quickly before things get worse up here. Going down. Wait, 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 wait. What? Oh, shit. Okay. Shit. You first, I can hold the rope. Go. We're going down! Go, Sarah. We're going down now. Go. Sounds can be heard as the voice the steps can be heard behind you, Kyler. He's gonna continue to find them off. Grab it and just fall backwards. <laughs> Understood, rolling. With a 14, Kyler, you go, you fall backwards, kicking both of them in the head, throwing yourself off the wall, but with a 14, you swing right back, landing against the wall with your feet, as you're an expert climber in this one moment, and you can even slide down. <sighs> we're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Fuck. There they go. Watch out! Let's move. Away from the building. Let's move. So, we need to move. We need to move now. Okay. Sorry, up top here. When we came up here. Make sure all the ones that jump off the walls are dead. Do not Regress them if you have to. Because <clears throat> it definitely would have, I think. I was being swarmed. 
You just feel someone lay on your shoulder. Fuck. Steal long sword, and one of you would teach me how to use it. Ah! Oh, Take a seat. Soma, as you go to administer the advanced potion, Orlena is unresponsive due to her injury, her sustained injuries. With a three on the die plus two for the advanced, for a five, it is unsuccessful, and her major proceeds to a critical state. Giving her her third critical injury of the session. Orlena. Lady Orlena. You are barely conscious. The pain is immense, but it is something you have trained for, something you have dedicated your life to. Pain in service to your lord, in service to your kingdom. Thankless though may it may have been at times, for years. Pain is nothing you're unused to, and death is in some ways an old friend. And an old friend will always come knocking, ready to take you home. As you lay here, your injuries beyond what most would be able to endure. <coughs> yourself among them, or if fortune favors you this day. swims with all the possibilities of things you could have done differently. You, maybe you're not one to admit it, but you're a bit of a perfectionist at times. You have to be. You're one of the best. You took pride in what purpose? regret you feel if your body relaxes. A regret that you would not get to see the return home. That you would not be there 
by their side. I should have sworn to them. Maybe after the war you could have had normal life. <laughs> Who are you kidding? You would have been bound to your host until the end, no matter what. And that's... Oh, fucking hell. It was a six, chat, if you didn't hear. She needed five to die. Shut those fuckers up, Aegon. They're all doing what they do. I do. I will make the rolls and I will give you numbers. I'm going to give you only three rolls, okay? Slow to a trip. Just an overall. So another DM we could do mine. Real quick. Hello? There, just one moment, please. Wait, Drasker, I see you. Drasker! Chill, bro. Rises. As you begin to look over your wounds. How many? No. So, you so, begin to feel sense one, of exhaustion. I would say one additional. I, I have been patting around no. the usual places. Uh, I, You've I done so many times. To know, I've like, actually no, two majors. You begin to feel a sense of exhaustion. And one, and and one you need to roll for. And you finally pat that one spot. And I think you need to roll for the majors to protect. Yeah. I think the dice are just assholes. So much. You Understood. Hands. <laughs> With a natural one, <laughs> plus your armor. There is the 16. Or a six. Or afraid, but the plus your armor, plus fire. Major injury to your chest. To keep blood is being forced for Wounds at bay. Be gone. You Thanks to your swordsmanship. And you feel your breath. Your foot is the tongue. However, ever done. Heavy. How long has it been since uh, you received today. your two majors? Not like that. Two Three ball. regular. Has it been a while? Two anti armor. Definitely been a while. Understood. <sighs> I'll do overall rolls. Then. Definitely. Sure. Have you received a critical session yet? Yes. I have one Besides. critical and three minutes? Actually, is it one or two? Damn, I one or two. I think I just got one. DM. Marcus, as you begin to feel around yourself as well, start padding your armor. Start padding your... You got good tight grip on that box, right? You will see that it is clenched him? underneath his right hand. It's not One so moment. much to ask. I think I'm losing more blood than I really should. She's critical, so <laughs> uh, Shall we sit you on this way some dignity? All right. How are you wound twice? Critical wound, I'm assuming. Yeah, claws. <laughs> Nothing right. to worry right. about. Uh, oh shit! Sorry about that. All right. I what about you? On you? Clamps. Yeah. Seem to be okay. Nice. DM, if you are around. <sighs> oh. We just went in Kar to Karama. Hang on. You look at this place, and you think of your wife. Start feeling immense amount of pain. 
on your chest not here. as you feel around. Which means she was not. You start feeling your arms. And you start feeling wet spots. She has her own but hell. Not the blood. But it is not in this old. place. Or now that you are safe, or hours it gives you a sense still of fresh calm. Bleeding as you poke and you feel the pain turn stinging. around and start to walk to the others, clutching you your You realize torso. quickly you have major injuries to your chest and your arm, Marcus. But then, your injuries mount and progress to critical states. And pause. you lose all strength. Pause. Shit. No, you don't. Pause. Pause. Alright, okay. pausing. Aegon. You have fought valiantly as a mercenary. You have cleaved so many of these demons, held the line when necessary. But now you have suffered three critical injuries. And as they progress, the dice will decide your fate. Aegon, you made your name in the Provia Campagnoni and won your freedom. You made your name known amongst the many slaves of Radia, you were the gladiator of the free wharf, Aegon the Wolf. That is how you were known, or at least how you wish to be known. But there is another side to you, Aegon. A family man, a father, and a husband. And as you lay here, on the cobblestone roads, looking at the closed portcullis of Carano, the demons just barely contained. Now of all times is when you fall. You've done a great job. If only you could have been this strong for your son, for your daughter. For, for her, as blood begins to run and mingle with the dirt, you wonder where she is right now. As your vision becomes bleary and your head begins to swim, you see your boy sitting on the hedge watching you. With a smile. He's holding a hand out. <clears throat> beckoning towards you. To him. You're not Aegon the Wolf. Your dad. Rikard and Veth. More than just a slave. More than a gladiator. More than a mercenary. And as you reach up towards him, you know now is not the time to join him. And with a 17, they go on. You will continue your fight. There is much more work to be done. Unpause. <coughs> Medium. <laughs> Present. I'm pretty sure that I may have gotten hit too during that la during that last push. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Are there any unexpected? Man, doing a roll for me. Uh, Understood. Rolling. Warden. Oh, sorry. Never covered me. Disregard. Mm, disregard. Just... Understood. I think oh, info is on mine. Yeah. Yep, you have two majors. <clears throat> what are we doing? DM query, are there any unaddressed injuries? Not for I'm me. still waiting for Soma. Majors untreated. You still be fine. Understood. Soma. Pause. 
Pause. Oh, I knew it. So much. As you go to work on Aegon, seeing his wounds, tending to others before yourself, as always, you almost neglected. Are you wearing chain armor, Soma? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I am indeed. Unpause. You receive a major <clears throat> injury. <laughs> You've got it so much. You seem to be going With fine. a four plus your modifier, Soma. You will continue. However, you need to get it treated and soon. You look like you're you bleeding can... yourself too, surgeon. I'll treat you first. Yes, I do. No, we need to the rest of us to live. Alive. Oh, no, I'm okay. I'm well, too bastard. Well, there's a or something for our surgeon. There should be more in the cart, no? Keep it. I, I think know. it brought you good luck. Pass it down the line. I literally took everything from the cart. I had to pick you up like actually, twice. Actually, then, she's gonna take out an advanced. Well, actually, no, not advanced. Major. If you say so. I'm taking out a major terrified. healing potion. He's drinking it. Me. Stay on the wall, Ivan. Like yeah, I need a medical room. Someone had to do it. Yeah, I'm present. Plus I'm three, major, major healing potion for him. I will not berate you for it. But I will remind you that Good you job. are the future of the house. Yeah. I hope I am. Calculated risks I will accept. That's why I tied you the rope well. beforehand. Though if Sarah wasn't there, it... Would have come oh terribly. Oh, Can't tie enough for shit. Soma, as you drink the healing like potion, hoping to find <laughs> respite, hoping That's to find nice. regeneration, your wounds continue to bleed, and you find it difficult <laughs> to swallow. With a natural one, Soma, your major progresses to a critical injury. And you drop to the ground. <laughs> Shit, so much. Fuck. Fucking Get up. Bring him against the wall. Bring him against the wall. Drag you over. Tell me what we, tell me what we need to do, Soma. Give me some room, bro. I might have to bandage him. I think they would probably freeze while the... Why are you there? I'm afraid. At the side. Don't do it. I'm. I'm. Oh, okay. it's bad. Did that weird uh, shit happen to you yet today? The thing that we know happened uh, to you. You have a potion on you. Ah. Uh, other than it, healing one of my other wounds by itself. Yeah. That happened. <laughs> uh, I'm regretting uh, all the potions I had. But this one's potion. not doing anything right now, so I'm gonna need some help. Definitely. DM. Crush under our weight. This is the last uh, tier three potion that Faye gave us. Let's go give it to Soma. Uh, Understood. Rolling. You drink it. Uh, Plus three. With a natural twenty, Arnold. We still need you. You bring it to Soma's lips. And he drinks heartily, able to finally down it. I agree with Having you. been able to sit and relax, <sighs> you slowly see his time. wounds begin to weave together naturally. He's no longer a death store. Thanks. Is Does anyone else need treatment? Marcus right. is currently bleeding out from two majors more than what are you looking at. 
I don't mean to. <sighs> Single major across the chest. Under the beard. You owe me a fucking apology. Could you please convince him that he needs the potion more than me? Sit down. Why? Soma. If he doesn't want to drink it, you can't make it. In my body. We still have wounded. I apologize. Alright, what wounds do you have? Not me. Over there. Two of them. She Couple of Major to his chest. Oh, fuck him too. Major to his chest, alright. Bandage plus four. Bandage plus four, Soma. With a 15 plus four. You are, finally have a moment to breathe. And you take care in wrapping the bandages around Lord Earhart. I just want an apology. Slowly but surely, you know that his wound will be able to recover. Any other wounds? Is it roll? Cause the only one I'm aware of. <laughs> um, what's the question? <laughs> Major is progressing after. <clears throat> is it rolled for? Or is it... Oh, it's I've rolled been... for. Roll, so However, it is a DM, okay. it's a DM discretion thing. We tend to the rest. We're all going home. <sighs> you all right? I'm good. If it's one of those things Somehow. where it hasn't been checked, like you got to start a session and we didn't, no one checked it till the end, then at that point it's pretty much like we have to say there's no way, right? Okay. But yeah, generally it's rolled for. Anyway. Got a few more. Okay, I guess that's Fuck very well done, my son. A lot of unanswered questions. I'm being informed that you were, yeah, that you were given a role for it already. Um, whether it was uh, you might have missed. Well, our job here is done, but I have a feeling with what we saw underneath, we need to notify Fay at once. Yeah. I have one what do you potion. Have? They're a thieves' guild, but they were worshipping in. <sighs> Butchering people down there. Right. And was that successful? If that was, I could focus on the last. I night. doubt there was any form of worship. <sighs> there used awesome. to be a cistern, according to the maps. Uh, medical roll and potion. Mm. Advanced on a. I don't know. Yeah. It's beyond me. What is it you found in there? That. Whatever that glow was. The glowing thing. Come on, go. To the way. Mm -hmm. That's intense box. I was too busy killing everything to see. Uh, okay. It's this glowing thing the that from me. We came for. Yeah, pulsating. Fuck. We couldn't get near it. Only tinkered. Oh, need to lean over. Oh, and even then, look at him. And even then, oh my god, walking at the bottom oh, of the ocean. Yeah. Came over and started tending to you. You know, I feel the same way. But more so, uh, more like my legs is gonna hold me up anymore. I can all wait to sit on that fucking like cow. I've got it. I'm doing better Good. Experience pays off, I think. <sighs> no, I mean, he jostled the box through his tap and got a tip to do it. This thing. <clears throat> We are, I don't want to touch it. And what are we no. doing with that thing, anyway? <laughs> we're bringing it back with us. I know what you mean. Let's get the fuck out of here. People are being treated still. If nothing else, we make sure that this thing gets put, locked away, <laughs> or buried somewhere and nobody can ever see or hear from it again. I say we row out into the middle of the ocean and drop it somewhere. That would deal with a whole bunch of Triton being angry with us. We'll figure it out. But I'm not letting this out of my sight until we get back to Novish. Hit a good spot in the wagon. I don't think I've spilled that much blood in a couple of days worth. That much before. As you begin to have the potion go down, Soma, you watch as his, you try to have it go, and he tries to swallow it, but he just coughs it and spits it all out forward in front of you all. And with a four total, the potion doesn't go down at all. As you see his eyes begin to slowly... What's on your mind? ...grow weight and more and more. Tired. Guys, re-roll. Marcus, it's too much. As you begin to have so much treat you, 
as you begin to feel the weight of your armor I know. every second heavier and heavier and heavier. I know. You begin to think of home. Your first thoughts take you back to the Empire. Back to your mother and father as you were growing up. How you were so inspired to serve and help and protect. Still with the fairy tales of books you remember reading here and there, the gallantry of knights and soldiers. But slowly but surely your mind shifts and thinking. You're too tired to talk. Doesn't feel right. This doesn't feel right. Be leaving soon. As your mind wanders to the horrors you begin to see on the battlefield, bit by bit. I hope you don't mind, but surely I'm just gonna sleep in the cart. Watch as the, the mayhem and cause sure. behind that banner. The Imperial Banner of the Screen still echo to you from even your sleep. Then I'll keep it brief. And flash once more, you see yourself amongst friends. Some would you even dare call family. There's a warmth to you. The numbness to your fingers. Hey, hey God, I got a question for you. As you start seeing their eyes with worry and concern. Does having your leg broken feel like it's being twisted apart by a broken mule? Eventually, you don't feel anything for the gods. White flowers. It would be if they were alive. Rotten. Like everything in this fucking place. Not everything. Staying, so doesn't matter. What do you have? This when it comes to weird glowing words. Doesn't it? Oh, no, one to one. There are a few people in there who are alive because of you. Oh, so they're teammates? We brought them to safety. For how long? If it's not this, it's fucking rat man or the Imperium or It's all temporary. Doesn't matter. For tonight. You gave, even if you only gave them a night. Then that's worth fighting for. Isn't it? Isn't that the whole reason you're doing what you're doing? To free a country, a people, in the end? Mr. Erdhardt. Lord. My Lord. Oh, that's, that's weird. Can I not call you that? Yeah, please don't. It's weird. No. Yeah, no, I just can... Yeah, anyway. I, make light of things, so I, don't just... I would have done the same. You know that. I don't. At the end of the day, when we have the power to change something, to do something, and we don't, and people suffer, that's on us. Even if we only give them a day, that is a day more than they would have had. It's priorities, Tarek. I might. Then why didn't you leave them behind? Why didn't you cut them down and use them as bait? I don't know. I don't have an answer. The answer is simple, Kyla. No, we're not friends still. It's because it's the right thing to do. Who isn't loaded up? Last man. Is the other card loaded? <coughs> Looks like it. Um, We're ready. Winner of the Spar gets the title thought. Superior Knight. I think so. <sighs> Pretty much. Bang. I mean. <sighs> you said I get all the alcohol I want. <sighs> I'll buy so you much. as much as you can drink. That is a lot. 
I might buy Imperial stock after this if Miss Martin isn't around. Oh, the Imperial wine? Good call. No, fuck off the medical stock. <laughs> Goodbye, Carano. City of Demons. You can see the towers flame over in the warehouse district. Any forces that get sent in this direction will know that someone's alive in the city. Yes, yeah, so still that bloody moon. Oh, don't look at it. Just don't. No, Sama. I'm not afraid of it. <laughs> if anything, it's actually quite beautiful. Even if it is a once in a lifetime thing. Oh, it is. That's what the Lord says. And someone from the Institute's going to take a look at it. All I care about now, right, right now, is seeing Basil and all of you coming back. That's all I care about. <laughs> I wonder if the people back home saw the same thing. I don't think any of them will be happy about my new paint job. <laughs> You want to get some flames on the side? Make it look cool? No. I don't like being red. There's nothing wrong with the red and yellow. It's just a few bad apples. Everything from, that I got from the card, you want me to put it right back in? Yeah. Stuff that hasn't been used. Alright, I'll do that before I go back. <sighs> How the fuck did we get out of that? Carefully. With tax. Listen up. Don't just leave leave the wagons here. We're gonna go set camp back up. Wind down, you can retire on your own time. I'm gonna get some food going because I'm starving. Let's get the wagons here for now. Yeah. And I'll leave everything in the carts. That with the cuts. Oh, a watch going <laughs> Who put all the fucking crates on me? <laughs> Get Tang out of there. Nope. Right. Wait, I can't. I Tang, where are you? Who put all, all the boxes? fucking empty medical so, baskets? Oh my yeah. gods. No, no. Who put Hold Tang on. underneath the boxes? That's a real question. Oh. Kyla. Oh, I, uh, I don't want to think about anything until tomorrow, well, so I'm gonna go ahead and head to sleep. Now it's me sure. carrying you up. Come on, I got the boxes off of you. Sure. I'll talk to you then. Rest up, alright? Yeah. Yeah, if you need me. And, uh... Can you bring me some food when they cook it? Yes, of course. Uh, Thanks for... Okay. ...saving my life. A lot. Can I be a sack of potatoes right. again? Thanks for not dying. I have to be a big girl. Jumped? Yeah, when I was oh, out, we were hit by that wave. I don't remember much, but. <laughs> uh, the theme. Anyway. All right, let's see. I think he already went to get back. Uh, it's because I care about you, and it's basically all I really want to do <laughs> anymore. So, oh, make sure that you're all right. I know I'm such a small. That's dangerous. I was, I it's time to think I'm cursed. <laughs> no. Just be dangerous, fun, I mean. Yeah. Uh, mm. We'll sort that out, alright? 
Yeah, but... Make your way to go. I'm sorry. She is a bit too happy about that. I like piggyback rides. This is a piggyback <laughs> ride, right? No. no. Oh. And there you go. Wow. Okay. Fuck it. <clears throat> we'll not be alone. Take some of that ale on top of the <sighs> ship and put it in the bottles. Ale? How are you feeling? Hey, Tripper. Oh, please, please, I'm so thirsty. Thank you. I'm feeling. Oh. That's a good thing. Okay. <sighs> Could be stopped, I'd be worried. <sighs> no, I mean, I'm feeling. <sighs> And did she's Never she's have I ever been so now. much more happier to get back into the fucking <sighs> At least now I know how everybody else feels. We'll do everything that we yeah, can to help get you back in one piece. Like all Clifford, did you bring any oh, meat? I could probably <clears throat> turn off that torch. I'll bear it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you found the plus side. <laughs> I know this is for crops. I gonna take a bit. It's my deal. If it helps you, then it helps me. Half my babies. Yes. <laughs> I'm not usually a man to drink, but for God's sake, if I don't. <laughs> oh. Good night for your drinking. Oh, well, we got a few good bottles oh, of it. Smart fat I'll take a swig. Will violate your precious code of chivalry. No, I just like Frank to stay sorry. Okay. Oh, oh, the trees have been taken. I'll just stay. And don't drink too much. Why don't were the big ones? So oh, then, why were the big ones? That could kill me. I think yeah. you need some of this medicine. Why were there tiny ones? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? After what we just went through, fuck it. Well, I'm just saying, the tiny ones so the being spices. feral are a little more scary than the big ones, you know, because the big ones remind me of <laughs> <laughs> oh, I felt bad for a little while with the We're Hobbit. still a lightweight. Me too. I was like, uh, yeah. and then after like the anyway, big ones uh, yeah. jumping at me. Thanks. I was kind of like, Thank Thank you. Stairs. I don't care. <sighs> Crooked old no, no, lord, it's, it's a sick of it, you're gonna need it too. I'm alive to taste these things. Where do you think I'm going? <laughs> I could pass it a few guesses. God. Why? Oh, you didn't tell him you were coming? I told him I was going, but he told me to be safe. Oh. I said I wouldn't promise. You were safe. At least for one small portion. But then we went into Karana. Sure, sure. So. Yeah, because right when, before we left the you camp originally. You were safe somewhere. on the boat. <laughs> Hopefully he likes You were safe. Really they didn't say how long you had yeah. to be safe. <laughs> I was safe for all the way east. As he walked towards the campfire <sighs> once again, little 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 heart, you look up to the sky. <laughs> and for the first time since coming to Karano, no for the first time, time the faintest no. light in the sky. Well, the safest the place. Stars. All right, let's see what we got in this. The stars are uh, coming every back. Every place has its dangers, uh, oh. Shepard. Uh, I can't uh, argue with you on that one. Wait, I uh. Sure, cut it up. Put it in. Is the moon visible? Uh, is that still red? Uh, I assume it is. Uh, we're surrounded but, you know, by trees. We picked up a scary stone. <sighs> what the fuck was that thing, anyways? Mm, no. A nightmare? I don't know. <gasps> Cheers, Thank you. <laughs> Thank Jack. Or Roe or Clifford. Cheers. Whatever the fuck he is now. Cheers. Thank you. Uh, cheers. <laughs> it's Lord James. I don't James. know what's going on. That's why I go by the bullying method. You just give them a nickname and then you stick with it. I thought Roe to him was dead. Was, but I got better. <laughs> got better. That's what they always say. Anyone else <laughs> said that, I wouldn't believe him. 
<laughs> I think any any one of us could say that on us there. You look like you were on death's fucking people. door. How did that feel? You mean included. Especially Tang. Every other time? Jeez, mm. man. Tang. I'm so glad that I was there. It just starts going. Oh, good. Because it goes with the I just hope this luck is of use to me. You know, it, it's it's so neat that I ask, uh, you know, our friend here about his near-death experience, and then you just whip out a scroll. I hope this is useful to me. What? <laughs> Found the wood egg on. What? <laughs> What? What's the You're problem a with it, Shibroka? <laughs> You're a character. You know, it's weird though. The first couple of times, I truly did think I was going to die, but after that, I started seeing a figure in the background behind everybody. I'm not too sure what it is. It's a figure. Maybe it's God. Oh, my don't start home. saying it's God. I say uh, it's not saying it please. is, but every single time I see that figure, it starts getting closer. <clears throat> As you come over with the horses, Skylar, and begin to pet them and, and calm them. See a strange senses to them now compared to when you first ventured off. They ever seemed stoic and startled, but now you see there's a slight warmth to them as they've moved away from Karano. As you begin to pet them, they their head caresses into your hand. You look up and see the sky above clouds that block the sky ever so. You start seeing slight creases in them. As stars here and there begin to shine through. Feel the weight of your armor heavy. Your breath exasperated. But a sense of strong relief. Strong hope. You do have more courage than most of us. You take a moment as you look down the boulevard at those rows of trees, those cypresses that once looked at you beckoningly, trying to invite you into this trap, this hellish town. They now look oddly organic. No intent to them. For the first time, you hear the flutter of wings above you. A chirp as life slowly begins to return. Leaving place is better than we found it again. <sighs> That's what we tried to do, isn't it? I think we did pretty okay this time. We cut it very close. They keep surprising me. <sighs> Who? Everyone. I mean... How so? I mean, people like Harper and... You know? Even Soma <laughs> was swinging a sword there. You think you've seen it all with them and then they just kinda... Go the extra step. I it guess. is... astounding. 
They are good people. Hardship breeds tougher people acclimated to adversity. But it's that moment between those times where life was still good and life turning to hardship that you have those people in the middle that are willing to put everything on the table. Try and put things back the right way. They are rare, but they exist. In a sense, we are blessed. There are many people who would have probably cut and run. Or left people who slowed down or fell behind. To their credit, even if sometimes they run around like chickens with their heads cut off. They have good intent. Nearly lost all Leno. Yeah. I was not ready for that. You tell yourself when they are your bannermen, your knights, your most loyal. You tell yourself you made your peace with what that outcome could be. I've told myself that with Sir Hildum, Sir Rishta. Sir Ajax, Sir Valen, Sir Richmond. Shatabak. Many, many more. But now Lady Omri... Well... She's different. It's hard to explain. But I would not be able to look her father in the face if she had died here. How <clears throat> much longer do we need to keep bleeding for these people? For this place? We're not even at Giwen yet. I know. My son, I have... been out in these countries that are not mine for 40 long years of my life. Every step that I took was to try and amass what I needed to make a change when I returned home. For 40 years, I took one step forward and three steps back. Because I kept trying to push my objective without building up to it. <sighs> Nodis needs to have a solid foundation. It needs to be in our pocket. We need to rule Nodis. It all starts with the Baron of Mem. Placing more trust in me. But a good step forward by having me militarily involved, he acknowledges that. But I need more. And I need to appoint people to particular positions. Such as Gerbom, as Castillan. I've done a great deal for Gerbom. We all have. But it's me he owes. And he too has sworn if things work out the way that they do. And the barony returns to the prosperity it had under Jul'dar that they too will send what they can. In the time that we have made our allies, my son, we have the entirety of Morden's clan. We have the entirety of Ursa's clan. We have 
unexpectedly. Dost, who has sworn to send everything that Erland has when the time comes. I don't even know if Dorst is in a position anymore. <clears throat> oh shit, wait. He is. You might not know this. I went to the grove the other day, and Horst was there. I'm sorry, who? Captain Horst. Is this some sort of joke? No. Dario shows up one day and Horst the next. Apparently he'd been there a couple of days. They found him fighting Aralandi troops. They sent him on some weird side mission and tried to lure him out and kill him. That's the best guess, at least. Venora and the others saved him, and he's hanging out in the grove now. Mm, I see. From what he told us, Godfrey's in charge now. King Godfrey. So I don't even know if we can rely on... the old magistrate. I believe that we can. Hmm? If you're correct, and it's King Godfrey... Then I heard in the keep from the Aralandis there looking for deserters that there's somebody that's in charge of Adwick now. Adwick <clears throat> is no longer the capital. It is an active battleground. <clears throat> it's used as a fortress to lure in the rat men and keep them fighting there so they don't expand west. Makes sense. Do you know who's in charge of it? Go on. Lord Dorst. Huh. He is moving up, isn't he? He is the one man I think that would ever be capable of replacing Fulgrith. <clears throat> Which is even more impressive, because I don't think he's involved in all this magic voodoo. Which means he did it the hard way. Real power. <laughs> Well, that, yeah. But he did swear it. I know he does not care about my cause. <clears throat> I'm no fool. But I know he would want a buffer between Ireland and the Empire. And it is that that we will work upon. Odds on getting men from Astagon as we go through it. They've been up in rebellion these last couple of months or so that we've heard, but... I don't know how much they care about their sister. I've heard from Major Dario as he candidly spoke. But the Inquisitor that's here told him that Astagon's rebellion is being dealt with. And yeah, that's something Victor's too. Been sent there. Victor, he's finally given up his search for you. I don't think so. You might think that I'm behind it, to be honest. That does make sense. Doesn't know where I am yet. But he will hear sooner or later the name is no longer hidden. And I'm sure he will make his move. Hmm. He won't be able to in town or in front of anyone else. But whenever we go anywhere, we'll have to watch our backs. You'd have to give up helping us, Sigon, then. Replace him. I don't think Pardon we have to me, give up on it. Interrupting. You all, but what can I do for you? Mm -mm. I was about to turn in. Just wanted to say, I'm glad to see you both alive. Glad we all made it through that. All things considered. Uh, mm. You fought well. Glad you made it as well, Aegon. Especially since I know what you pursue now. We are somewhat <clears throat> similar in that regard. For better or for worse, I wonder. We will know by the end of these stories, don't you think? Likely worse. But we hope for better. We have the power to do better. To make sure better happens. This is a wonderful start, I'd say. <laughs> yes. I do agree. Well, thank you for lending us your aid, regardless of your reasoning. In truth, while I did it for my own reasons, 
I could hardly say no to an opportunity to help you all fight. Like years before, it's been quite a while. Yes, well... I'm sure there'll be plenty more in the near future for us both. And... Fighting doesn't stop. Never. It's somewhat unspoken, but I want to say it out loud, so there's no question. As I said before, I had despised you for abandoning Ledford. But... Knowing your position and what you were looking for, I cannot blame you. I bear you no ill will. Of course, though I'd prefer you hold a little bit of resentment. After all, I did make a choice. Despite my reasoning, as good as it was, I didn't I'm have sure to leave. make up for it, Aegon. You owe me a favor anyway. That I do. Have a good night, you two. And you. As you as well, well my friend. Done it. Of course, Lord Earhart. He was searching for his family. Oh. I didn't know he even... Oh. He was a slave. He won the Prova Campione, and won his freedom. His master granted it to him. That's... He was a very accomplished fighter. He was known as the Wolf. You probably know the name quite well. That is Aegon. Holy shit, I never connected to the dots. He was betrayed. <laughs> oh shit. Well, I never saw the fights, but we heard about them. We try and sneak in, but... Yeah, anyway, he was betrayed. Yes, he was betrayed. His master or someone, he never told me who. His home was broken into. He found his... youngest daughter dead, his wife missing, his son dying. Someone tried to wipe out his family and wipe him out as well. Likely payback for what he had done. He defied his master and spared his opponent in the final round of the Provo. Refused to kill him. It's a good way to ruffle some feathers. Yeah. I figured out that Aegon had a son. Only because I found his son's grave. When we were at Fair Hollow. Fair Hollow. That's a his son's a, buried by the side of the church. Bit of a way away from Corocatus, no? They ran to Ireland. Hmm. Trying to escape. That's a common story. It's a sad tale. Regardless, after being told this, The house we went to, apparently his wife was there not a few months ago. Has not seen her for years. Knowing what he was pursuing. If I was in the same position. I cannot tell you what I would have done. I think we both know roughly what you would have done. Burn everything to the fucking ground until you got what you needed. I don't know if I would have abandoned Ledford. 
啊。Ro. You have a good night. Rest well. <sighs> He's someone should be watched too, by the way. No. Oh. Ro. More. <sighs> he knows. Thieves can't. Uh, the language, the symbols. Has he never told you? I just never realized. You don't get those by just being a random person in the poor quarters of places. You have to do some f fucked shit to learn that. He's never spoken about that to me. Either. He only touched about it very briefly, and he seems ashamed of it. Hmm. He had to do a lot of low things to try and survive after his family was wiped out. Such as Korokidas, I guess. Gordon. It's ironic to me, Gradia is thought of as a paradise to those outside of it. No. When those within it are eager to leave. It's a frozen lake with snow over it. Looks fine and safe to walk on, but wrong step and you slip through and you're not quick and smart. That's it. That's all it takes. On that note, <clears throat> this fucking Bartholomew captain guy just keeps trying to eye fuck me as I walk past him. I don't know what he wants. I've been avoiding him as best I can, but I don't know why he wants me in Blackrock. No. He's the captain of our ship at the moment. I lack the skill to take the position. Just worry about his intentions and such. I don't want to go back to Black Rock. Then don't. That symbol. I don't want you to go there either. Yeah. I don't want to risk the most precious thing I have left. For me, Black Rock is probably more dangerous than what we just fucking faced. I believe you, if you say it. Yeah. There's a million things running through my head, and I can't pinpoint a single one. <laughs> yeah, I know that feeling. Fight doesn't stop. No, it doesn't. Things are going to get difficult in the coming days. Yep. And I'm going to have to look at the province as a whole. 
and focus on that now more than ever. Most of the forge responsibilities will fall to you. Works for me. Once we actually get iron. <laughs> When we head back to Nordis, I intend to get together a force with Baron Mem's approval of the best trained soldiers that they have. Send a contingent here. As horrible as it seems, their first and only directive will be to secure the warehouse district. Wipe out the infected population. Whatever civilians are there, of course, save them. But the priority will be the warehouses. If we can secure all the goods that are there, the stone, the iron, the food, and we're loaded onto the ship and brought back to Nodis, we'll stand a much better chance against the robber baron. Hmm. Did the Imperials bring a bunch with them? I thought they were trying to get in the good books. They are. And I'm <clears> trying <throat> to avoid them taking them. Yeah. <clears throat> he doesn't want to be beholden to them either. Thankfully, he sees that. But I must take action to prevent it and give him a different opportunity. Any plans on dealing with the robber baron? He's secure as can be. And his forces are no joke. They've been skirmishing for the longest. If we're going to overcome them, we have to assemble a less... Orthodox Doctrine. There's the whole... Oh, we still need to kidnap him and have him be executed, right? That's pretty much a given. It's still the intent, yes. Second to look in the back of the wagon. Oh. But yes, that is the intent to this day. Why do you ask? Just making sure we're on the same page. I know before this I was... away within my own head. I don't know if things have changed. You gonna tell me what's been bothering you? Just tired, you know? Tired of losing people. Mm -hmm. Ever since Severick and... Everything. Sif. I don't know. You fool. Could have stopped it. None of it is. Kylo. I cared for that hobbit, same as you. And I would never want something like that to happen to anyone. No one. But I would have done the exact same thing. Because I was put in a position with a cause that is everything. It's put in danger. The burden of leadership is spending lives wisely. Every life that follows you, that 
obeys you, that you command, they have worth, and their worth is what they can be spent for. It sounds cold, it sounds calculating, and that's because it is. But there is no perfect world without that. The ideal world is created by those willing to die to shape it into the ideal world. <clears throat> and it is difficult. After all of that, I just feel so rotten inside and cold. You know, when a lightning hits a tree and it burns from the inside out, and it's just that ashy shit. Yeah. Just haven't been able to shake it. And. I'm I'm terrified of getting close to people again. People like Sif and Sifrik and Bathhouse Girl. I just want to be safe you know she told me that she loved me and I told her I, I couldn't and she said okay I'll wait until you can every time I catch myself enjoying myself around these people all I think forward to is how much it's gonna hurt when they die do you remember when we were under Ledford and Morgan died I was surrounded by my friends at the time. Do you remember what I said in my grief? You're all corpses. Yeah. I want to tell you that it goes away. Kyla, I want to tell you that that feeling will leave you, but it never will. It is something that you will have to make your peace with. That because of the burden that you have, because you will one day be a leader, more so than you are now, you will have to make those choices. <clears throat> who lives and who dies? Who is spent and who is saved? And it is very unfair. <clears throat> that um bathhouse girl you know she shared the same name as my mother I did not know she died in a pretty similar way too it just brought me back and It's different than when it was back then, but now I just... I'm so tired and empty and... It's like I'm a cup that's pouring into other things as soon as it starts to get filled again. It's just... My first instinct is just to hide, and it's always my first instinct. I don't know. I just 
So below. Let me ask you a question. That is a painful one, but I will ask it nonetheless. Did you genuinely love Katrina? Yeah. Did you cherish the time that you had together? He shows the ring on the necklace. Right, everything in there is accounted for. The rest of my stock. Never take it off. The question stands. Of course. Good night to the both of you. Good night. And you know all the pain that came with having that love for this person because of what happened. Was it still worth it? Or do you regret having loved her? I regret losing her. I regret not doing more while she was there. But if you had never allowed yourself to fall in love with her, you would never have felt this pain. Do you regret it? If I could have stopped it, maybe I would have, but no, I don't. Then you understand the most fundamental aspect of life. And that it is far better to have loved someone and lost them than to have never loved at all. It is something that can never be faked. It's not something that can ever be created without intention. The love that is there is probably the most fulfilling thing a man or woman could ever feel. I think it has shaped you as a man. I think it has shaped how you treat people, how you see people, your compassion. There will always be that pain and guilt there. But at the end of the day, <clears throat> she's not the one suffering right now. Death is a burden for the living, not the dead. You gave her far more than she ever expected. I saw it enough. And even after, did everything you could to help her sister. And because of what you did, she's living like a high-born noble now. Safe in the western side of Ireland. The point is, my son, there will always be loss. There will never not be loss. And because of what you are, you will see a lot more of it than I will. But you will see a lot more beauty as well. You will see a lot more things worth the hardship than I ever will be blessed enough to see. You will see amazing things and beautiful people come and go. You will change lives. You will live. And that is important. It's worth it in the end. 
I hope so. Because I feel fucking busted right now. I felt that any modicum of happiness for myself, any attempt to grow close to anyone, that I was either disparaging those who came before, or I was setting myself up for failure. That's exactly how it feels. I don't regret adopting you. I don't regret loving you. I will always be afraid you'll be torn from me. I'll always be afraid that one day something will happen, and it might. But it's worth the risk. Because I have never been a more proud or happy father. And I love Raylan. The risk with her is great. And I know that... <laughs> I know she has gone for good. In my heart of hearts. I know she is gone. I will never regret it. Never. Never. If something does happen, just know that you have changed my life. In the best possible way. If something does happen, I will never forgive myself. <sighs> and I do not know what kind of man I will become. To pretend that I do would be to lie to your face. And I am not a liar. Yes, I gotta... man is a breaking point. Guess I gotta keep hanging on then. The, the day I lose you is the day I hit my breaking point. be the same man. <clears throat> but I can't think like that in the days that come and go. Because if you spend your whole life lamenting over what could be or what you might lose, you'll never take the risk of what you can have right now. And I choose to have my family. I choose to have my son. Just like you must choose to accept whatever might happen might happen. You pushing people away will not solve that. Take it from a man who's lost everything. Don't miss out on what's right in front of you. Out of fear of what could be. 
Be it friendships or love. I think I just if something to happens. Time right now. Of course. I will always be there, whether it is to pick up the pieces. Or help you set things right. If there's one thing I can promise, I will always be there for you. I do so swear it. My son. My wonderful boy. It'll be all right. One day at a time. Honor and wisdom. We lead. Gonna check on the others and then uh, turn in, I think. Go ahead. The ambient noise of the voices from the camp. Wake me if you need. At this point, you realize have faded. Seems the others have taken their rest, for you cannot hear them any longer. <sighs> do you want me to take first watch? Since they're not gonna fucking do it. I've got it. And wake me up after a couple hours. Good night. Good night, my son. You're okay. You don't need to get up. You did oh, great. Talk okay. to you. You want the sippy? <laughs> you did amazing today. Be proud of yourself. <laughs> I feel like I did a lot better today than I did yesterday, that's for sure. You're improving. Good night. <laughs> Good night.